Starting off our show today with our first camp location on the list, we are just north of the Pleasant Valley Ski Resort located in the Savage Divide. Now here at this camp location, what I have for you is your very own playground or if you do parkour, an obstacle course. Look at this fantastic thing. And you also get your very own building on the property side. Oh my gosh, not very big. Maybe you can store some tools in here. Maybe put a freaking light in here. It's super duper dark. But yeah, you get your very own building. And look at this thing. This is the main price of the property property oh my gosh now i personally do parkour in real life so this place is absolutely amazing okay you just get right up here on this ledge all right now where are we jumping to where are we jumping to there we go there oh my god i fell and busted my knee oh Oh, well, that's why you practice. And here is the perfect location to practice your parkour. Now, let me just show you where you can place your camp at. You can only place it in this little circle right here because if you go too far over here, there's kind of like an area. Yeah, see that? Oopsie daisy. Now, if you go over here too far, there is another area which we cannot um, build at. Whoopsie daisy. So your main location is this little park area. That's why we're building here though. You know what I'm saying? Now, this location is absolutely fantastic. And again, if you want to practice your parkour, here you go. Our next camp location on the list is just north of the abandoned mineshaft 2 located in the ash heap region now this camp location has got to be one of the best camp locations in all the ash heap region starting off we have two magnificent structures we have this barn right here and we have this garage right over there and you can have them both inside your property look at that absolutely amazing let me just get over here real quick you know place your camp right here in the middle of them and bada beam bada boom they are both your structures now even better than that we have magnificent views of the ash heap region look at this this looks absolutely amazing. This right here reminds me of a straight up wasteland. Then behind our house, we have the beautiful views of those apartments up there, but that is absolutely amazing. Now let's just check on inside this little barn right here. Now there are raiders that can spawn here, like Kevin over here. What up, Kevin? How you doing, brother? So if you're not friends with the raiders, they may attack you. But here on the first floor, it is kind of trash, so you can't place a lot of things here, but that is a-okay, you know. Can't do much here in the wasteland. Now let's go up to the second floor. There we go. If you decide to live in here, this is where I would place your bed. Look at here, we got ourselves a little platform and all that fun stuff or maybe you want to put a chair here or something with your desk that would be nice that'd be absolutely amazing why is there a sickle up here i don't know i'm gonna take that there we go and if you want a quick exit from your house woo, boom ah ah woo, off the roof out of the window bam we're out of the house that's absolutely fantastic. Now let's just go look in our garage real quick. We get Alan in here. Alan, he can never get inside my chest. He's always like, I'm gonna break inside your chest and steal your things. I'm like, no, you're not, Alan. You're never gonna figure it out. Told you, Alan, you're never gonna break in, you loser. Nice hair though. I like that hair. Let me see it. Yeah, that's some cool hair, Alan. This is inside our garage. Again, the floor is disgusting, but that is a-okay. This is still a magnificent looking location. And we even have a unique poster. Look at this. Honest work earns honest pay. Visit your local work a day. Oh, I wish we had that poster. Now, if you come out here and you decide you don't want to live out here because there's no water, wait one second. If you make your way down the road, you can have another camp location. Look at this. Now, this really isn't a part of that, but it's pretty darn close, so you might as well build out here if you want to. Look here. We got a little wastewater out here for your dirty water or purified water needs. There we go. We got ourselves a little building. There we go. A little sleeping bag and all that fun stuff in it. Yep, you know, super duper secluded. And sometimes there's also people that can spawn down here. Like, what do we got over here? We got ourselves a settler. Don't tell our raider friends that we got a settler down here. They might come down here and kill him. Settler, you need to get the heck on out of here. What are you named? Uh, 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 your name is Joe. Joe, get the heck on out of here, you little Amish Joe. But yeah, as you can see you can place your camp anywhere around here and all i gotta say is this camp location is absolutely amazing our next camp location on the list is just south of the scenic overlook located in the savage divide this camp location is extremely cool not only do we have a workshop right there really close to our camp but we also have a ton of cool people in our camp and a well put together pre-structured camp look at this this thing is amazing and it's right off the road so if you want to set up a shop or something right here this is a fantastic location to do so but let me just back up real quick that we can get full view of this you got ourselves our very own billboard with a guy in a chair up there which looks awesome we have some people which are settlers both times i've spawned here they've been settlers but they may not be settlers when they're with you um what are you doing is that called the sidestep yep she's doing the sidestep she's dancing actually this is uh teresa teresa how you doing girl heck yeah teresa those are some good sidesteps let me just walk over here as you can see we have ourselves a cooking station what up linda um we got some moonshine we got a dead guy what up dead guy he's been dead for a while as you can see with the color of his skin they don't care about it if they don't care about it i don't care about it i mean look at linda for god's sakes yeah linda don't care about nothing we have ourselves a table you know that way we can sit down eat have a nice good time with ourselves we have ourselves a recipe 
I don't know what recipe this is because I can't read it. Um, recipe. Yeah, we're not reading that, but we got a recipe there. We have ourselves our very own tent on this location. Look at you here. And we got a nice little bedroll out here. Actually, that's a mattress. Look at that. We don't even need a bedroll. We got ourselves a mattress. Holy crap. This is amazing. Now, let me just show you what's on inside uh, our other little bunker area. Okay, there was another dead guy over there, but we're just going to excuse that. All right, looky here. We got ourselves another mattress. So, essentially, you have yourselves two bedrooms at this camp. That is amazing. Let me just grab that red. Oh, my God. Another bed. Essentially, you have yourselves three bedrooms at your camp. How amazing is that? Now, let me just go on down here real quick. We have some storage stuff. Get some coolers. You know, if you want to take the driver's seat of this place and get the heck on out of here. <laughs> I, I don't think this thing is um, moving, actually. So, yeah, that probably won't work. Now, let me just get up here real quick. And if you have um, super acrobatic skills like me and a jetpack, you can actually get on top of this billboard. And bada beam, bada boom. Look at our guy. This is Chad. How you doing, Chad? You doing great, Chad? Oh, what the heck's out there? What up, Phil? Phil, I didn't know you were over here. Oh, my God. Gosh, yeah, this is where all the settlers come to hang out. You know, it's party time over here. We saved each other from wolves earlier. As you can see, there's dead bodies. But yeah, this is Chad the dead guy. He was up here before the bombs dropped. And we got ourselves a flag. Where's the flag at? Underneath Chad. All right. Well, this is an amazing camp location, and I definitely recommend it. Our next camp location on the list brings us just north of the Summersville Dam, located in the Forest Region. Now, this camp location is a extremely unique camp location. And not only are you my heckin' dosh gone neighbor over there, you see me, there's my house way down there. Yep. That's my home over there. But you are also get yourself your very own pre-made dam building. I don't know what the heck this is, but it's really close to the dam. So I'm pretty sure it was used to work with the dam. But as you can see, you can place your camp over here. Now, if you get too far over here, um, it turns red. There is a downside about that. So just try to place your camp way over here or down on this side or something like that. And then you can get the full structure inside your camp. But once you place your camp, you can build whatever the heck is in your circle. So don't worry about that. And now let me just show you what's inside this building. Oh, yeah. We got a ton of scorched in here. So if you do decide to live here, be very careful. You will be attacked daily. There's not only scorched in this area, but there's also scorched all alongside this bridge and all that crap out there. Then we also have a ton of enemies over here. So if you want to gather a lot of XP, this is a fantastic location to do it. And let me just give you a quick tour of the property you're going to be getting. Oh, yeah. And now if you do decide to build here, I expect you to be running the dam. There hasn't been a guy running this in at least 30, 40 years. So do us a favor and um, fix all that dried up lake bed and, you know, maybe fix the dam, please and thank you. Our next camp location on the list is located just east of the 98 NAR regional located in the Savage Divide. Now this camp location is a special camp location and not only do you get this beautiful view of Appalachia, oh my gosh, look at this, this is absolutely amazing, but you also get yourself your pre-built structure with cats. Oh my god, he's running away. Come here, kitty cat. Come here. No, 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 no. All right, I think that one. Oh, no, 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 we're losing them. We're losing them all. Okay, we've lost two of our cats. There's, oh, there's the third one. All right, we got a third one. We're going to call that one Meow Meow. Meow Meow, please do not jump off the cliff, Meow Meow. Well, as you can see, usually we have our cats over here. I think I scared them. My bad. I probably shouldn't have ran up like that. But also, you get this magnificent pre-built structure right off of a billboard. That is right. You see this nice billboard? This is your billboard. This is all of your property with the placing of your camp. And the main reason I really like this camp is, of course, because the kitty cats, even though I scared them all away, I do apologize about that you know they're gonna be the stars of the show but um not anymore look at this view if you've never built here i definitely recommend it if you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more i also made a video for one of the most powerful commando weapons in all of fall 76 the fixer so if you want to check it out i'll link in the screen right now you see that that is my fixer video <laughs>